Hi guys, it's me, Kathy. Mrs. Handy, are you? Hope everybody's doing really well. And uh, we made it through July. Now we're in August. You know, we're going to make it, you guys, all together. So, <laughs> um, so, you know, I've been talking to you about Mr. C, as we call him. Mr. Cottrell, C-O-T-T-R-E-L-L. He's, uh, he's a guest that phones in, he's a guest, that phones in on original Mark Z, Z like zebra. Um, he was posting, sorry, he was posting on another channel. Uh, let's see, usually it's on original Mark Z, but a couple of them are on Trolling News Network you know, like TNN, <laughs> because he had some kind of, you know, strike against him on YouTube and all that. And Mr. C is Junior. Okay, he is. Now, I don't know why I don't have this memorized, but I'm going to, I'm just going to look it up as we're talking. It's really embarrassing. I don't remember it. Ooh. But, you know, I'll just check it out. I'll just check it out. So, huh. So Mr. C uh, is supposed to be, let's see, his name is Michael. So I'm going to end. I'm doing Germatrix. Um, and his middle name is C for Christ. That's what it is. He didn't say that, but that's what I think. And let's see. Here we go. <laughs> I can't, you know, women are supposed to be able to multitask. And sometimes I wonder... What's going on with me? Okay, so I bought Mr. C's book, which is like a hand-bound book. It's not like something from, like you would normally think of as a book. It's got hand binding on it, and it's just like printed pages that are hand-bound. It's got a hard cover, but, you know, it, it looks hand-bound. And nobody else knows his middle initial, uh, unless unless you bought his book and I bought that months ago before I knew who he was you guys I bought I bought his book because I love Mr. C I've been listening to him for a very long time and I, he talks about the reset and the GCR however you want to call it you know the global currency reset quantum financial system and all that so he talks about it he gives great details about it on original Mark Z. And like I said, a couple episodes were on Trolling News Network. And uh, anyway, so unless you bought his book, you wouldn't know his middle initial. And I, since I bought it, I know his middle initial. And guess what this adds up to? Let's see. I wonder what it is. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Where is it? Where is it? A week to remember. And, uh, oh, it's 159 And if you're smarter than me, you probably have all this stuff memorized. I wish I had more memorized. I have some memorized, you know. I don't have to look at my notes for every single thing. But, boy, I'm waiting for that DNA upgrade. And I just got that in a decode recently. And I'm really excited. Like, I'm not upset that I can't do as well as I want to, but I'm just really looking forward to it. You, you do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's just going to be, like, beautiful. I mean, Juan said at one point that we were, that we weren't even supposed to talk to each other originally. We were supposed to think to each other, you know? That's how we were supposed to communicate, and that's likely how they did, Adam and Eve, right? When you, if, you, if he said that, that's what he's talking about. Like way in the beginning, they weren't saying words. They were thinking to each other. God was thinking to them. At least that, that's the way I look at what he said. Um, okay, so Michael C. Cottrell, C-O-T-T-R-E-L-L, -L, is 159, and that's John F. Kennedy Jr., J-R, I should say. Not Jr. spelled out. John F. Kennedy, J.R., okay? I, I knew that's who he was before I ever knew. I, 
figure, you know, before I even thought about decoding his full name, I just knew it because of the way he was talking and the coded language and all that. And he, and he has a, 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 you know, he's supposed to sound like he's from Pennsylvania, like our Vincent Fusca, who's supposed to be from Pennsylvania, like up near Pittsburgh. And uh, so he kind of sounds like he's from there. And he's got, his voice is different. But then again, so is Simon Stanhope on Bite Sized Audio. And so is uh, Greg Wagland that I'm always talking about on Magpie Radio. Well, that's Magpie Radio. Simon is, maybe I said it wrong with Simon. Simon Stanhope is Bite Sized Audio. I might have said radio. I'm sorry. But Simon is Bite Sized Audio. Now, oh, before I forget, Simon just had a brand new video come out yesterday. Now, I don't know what day you're going to see this, but anyway, he had a brand new video come out and he doesn't put tons of videos out. It's really an audio book and it's it's called Miss Brace Girdle, B-R-A-C-E, and Girdle, just like, you know, sucking in all the fat. Brace Girdle does her duty. Okay. And then when you listen to it, holy moly, you're going to go, they're talking about Diana and probably Jackie. I, I don't know for sure. Whatever happens, they're talking about the Beast episode. That's what he's doing. That's what this whole story is. I mean, it's, it's about a woman that mm, early 1900s and it's, you know, everybody's kind of worried about what other people think especially back then and and something awkward happens to her in a hotel and she's worried she's going to lose her reputation but oh my gosh the stuff that he says think about the beast event and then listen to think about that as you're listening to the story and get the double meanings not even double meanings. some of it is just obvious it's not even stuff you have to decode but I, I know if you decode it, you'll get even more. Like Miss Bracegirdle. I can't remember what it is, but because I wasn't going to talk about that. But anyway. Anyway. So uh, beyond that, we have, uh, let's see. So I'm working on a, it's from Original Mark Z, like I said. And what, I don't remember the date. Oh, this is from, this is the most recent one. And it's August 5th in 2022 in case you're like in the future <laughs> um so i know who he is I, I mean i know and i made a contribution and it wasn't even so much to make a contribution but you know we haven't been tithing and i feel awkward about that but that's a whole nother story um so i made a contribution to mr c directly and you can do it on PayPal. It's Mr. Michael Cottrell. And um, I wanted, what I really wanted to do was send a note. And it's almost like for posterity, you know, like it, it was just fun. I'm, I'm glad I gave money and I know the money's going to a good place because I'm like, who, who are we talking about? We're talking about God, right? So I'm not worried about who's getting the money. <laughs> but anyways, so I, I made a donation. It wasn't huge. And I made a donation before the show went on. And because uh, what he does is he reads, he talks to Mark for a minute, and then he says his thank yous for people who donate. And I just wanted to see, I honestly wanted to see if he would refer to my message. You, you know, it wasn't even just to hear my name. It was, is he going to say anything about what I said? And I, I hope I get the right phrasing. It was I, it, my phrase. My note was something like with the donation was something like um, um, you're on my good list. I hope I'm on yours or something. I, I didn't say it right. But the point was, I hope I'm on your good list. You're on mine. I guess that was more like what I said. That sounds more like what I would have done. Um, so. Anyway, he did refer to it. He, he brought it up and he talked about good lists. So I was pretty excited because um, I know who he is, you know? I mean, I talked to Juan on a couple of uh, videos and I knew who he was then. And I was a little bit nervous, but 
you know, it was on Tom Numbers' uh, channel, Psych Club, P-S-Y-C-H. So you guys should watch Tom. He hasn't put anything up lately because he's on a, I think he's on a little vacation. But subscribe to Tom, you know, definitely. Tom Numbers on Psych, in Psych Club. I mean, he's so, he's so smart. And he gets things that I don't get at all. So please subscribe to him. He's a good friend. Uh, let's see. So, okay. I don't even know what to tell. I, look how many pages I got just from like, like, you can't see from that angle. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's not even working. It's not working. Anyway, it's a lot of pages. So I'll try not to drive you crazy. Uh, I'm just going to read them. All the things that I'm reading are what Mr. C, Mr. Cottrell said. I'm not going back and forth between him, himself and Mark. Um, so, and everything's at timestamps, you know. Oh, and my brand new phone doesn't show me the timestamps continuously. So I, I can feel for you guys that don't, that can't see it like that. It must be so frustrating. So I kept my very old phone because nobody would have wanted it. It's really old and yucky. But I kept it, and now I use that one mo most of the time because uh, that one I could put on um, like a dark mode. It's a old, uh, what is it, S uh, Samsung 10 or something like that. I think I can't, yeah, I think it's a 10. But if you if you hit the, hit the display, you can make it go like half dark, not completely dark, but it goes halfway dark. You can still see what's going on if you're watching a video, but you see the timestamps clicking by on the bottom left. Um, like my husband, Mr. Handy, has an apple in, it, in the last two, in, 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 the new one and the one before. You couldn't do that. So I think it's defective. That's just me. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, but... So the point is, he was giving a lot of things at certain timestamps. So if I look at on my old phone, it, it works perfectly. Uh, let's see. He's like, hey, good morning, Mark. Um, I did, like, obviously, I can't decode everything, but okay. He said, he has certain phrases that he says often, you know, how, yeah, just like me, I'll say, you know, just like I just did. There's certain things that everybody says over and over, even though they don't sound like a big deal. For him to say, it's important because of who he is. So if he says certain phrases, it's important, even if they're stupid phrases. Um, he says, uh, catch up at 1223. He said brothers and sisters at, right after, brothers and sisters, because I'm always talking about um, that there's three male and three female gods and at least a couple of them are say uh, john president kennedy john kennedy and uh the twin you know there's a whole thing that i have about twins and that's uh jo yeah i'm gonna say joseph patrick but if you're new forget that for now uh that would be jfk jr so that would be the the, the brothers. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What can I tell you guys? Oh, he mentioned. Um, now this was at twelve fifty three. Now one would think, well, fifty three is not a big deal, is it? But look at fifty three in reverse, and that's thirty five. And President Kennedy was POTUS thirty five. So I always look at that fifty threes. And he said. Uh, Nevada Robert, your contribution came to me. Uh, your contribution to me came at the perfect time. And I'm not going to get everything, but where's my Nevada Robert decode? Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't have it. Ah, I had a whole thing on Nevada. I had a whole thing on Nevada Robert. Well, I'll, I hope I find it. That's really embarrassing. Uh, let's see. And what else can I tell you? He saw it talking about great guys, husband and wife. I haven't gotten anything too exciting yet because I have. I'm missing my page. <laughs> um, 
And he said, I'm going to have to frame this. And I think that Cain was framed for the death of Abel. That, that you know, Cain murdered Abel and all that. That's what everybody says. I think that Cain was framed. I mean, he's still from the bad side. I'm not, don't get me wrong, but I think he was framed. Because I think that not just Eve, but I think it's Adam and Eve, or Eves and Adams, whatever you want to look at this, did the, did the deed. Because remember, the human DNA was the forbidden fruit. Like, don't touch it. Don't E-A-T it. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, so he mentioned, I'm going to have to frame this. And when you think about it, uh, what was it? The Bush, H.W., George H.W., the father, Bush, um, Everybody thought that he was the one that did the deed at on 11-22-63. And then we find out through all this decoding and all this listening that um, JFK and his team took himself off. Not, not literally because, you know, not physically, but there was a mannequin in the limo. And I don't think he's going to have legs either when they show the evidence and the video, because they'd have video. I know they have video of this, that the mannequin will just be an upper half and there won't be any legs or anything. So that's from listening, decoding, all that stuff. So, yeah, I think that H.W. was framed, but H.W. was a nasty, evil person piece of you know what so I wouldn't I wouldn't feel bad that he was framed let's put it that way uh, and because I did a donation let's see at, oh this was so cool I was so excited that he said this at the timestamp he, he must know he knows who I am I know he knows who I he knows who you are okay he knows who you are so be happy, you know, be happy. He knows you're working on stuff. He knows you're helping. He knows you're trying to figure things out. I mean, that's exciting. Um, isn't it? Isn't it really exciting? So at 1336, and yet again, it's 36, reverse it to 63. And that was the year that he exited, right? So that 36 and 63s are always a big deal with timestamps. And he said, so at that timestamp, he said, and Kathy, Mrs. Handy, are you? Um, you're on my list. Absolutely. A lot of people are on my list. So I was excited that he even referred to the list. Because, you know, there's definitely the good and the bad list. I mean, it's not a joke. It It's real. Um so he said, at 12.43, he says, well, I, sorry, I'll take it back. You're on my list. Absolutely. A lot of people are on my list. Good list. And, he, and that I didn't say this part. He did. Say it that way. I did make a comment to Alan, and he was talking about someone that donated, I think, that my bad list is growing every day so sorry about that you know i thought that was kind of funny and when he apologizes to me he does that quite often he'll say you know sorry about it's taken so long for the reset or sorry about the truth that i'm telling you at the moment he'll say sorry a lot and to me it's like sorry about the events that happened in the garden of eden and at the cross so I don't look at it as he's really sorry about what he's saying. He's he's really sorry, truly, about what happened. Uh, let's see. And, yeah, I won't go into all that. He was talking about his wife and why is he still married. You know, people would ask him, why is he still married? I don't think he's been married. I really don't. I think he and Diana 
are not married yet, that they can spend time together, but they can't like live together. Because um, I really do think they're going to get married next year, just like Juan was talking about. You know, Jennifer Mack, and that's who Jennifer Mack is, is Diana. And Jennifer Mack has, uh, her channel is um, all about eating healthy. You really should look at it. It's called The Jennifer Mack, M-A-C. And uh, I've been trying to eat, uh, not just healthy, but not eat meat. And I've only done it for a very short time. Um, it's really not, doesn't bother me. And, and like for, for, sorry, hit the mic. So for example, like uh, we are making homemade sub sandwiches or pe some people call them grinders. So I decided, oh, I'm just, at least for now, I'm gonna do a veggie one. Now, I don't know if that's still legit, like in the future world, if, or if it has to be vegan, I don't know. But for now, I'm taking the step to veggie, you know, vegetarian. And I just put cheese on it and tons of veggies and all that. And I was completely happy. I'm thinking, oh, it's not that hard. It really isn't. Um, anyway, just a thought. But if Jennifer Mack is uh, promoting that and she has all these cookbooks and online videos about how to do things, I think it's a big deal. I really do. Let's see. Uh, he said, oh, yeah, well, I don't have to read that, but okay, sorry. Uh, he said, there's no way, okay, so think about it in, in another way. There's no way, and here we are going through this mess, and that's like a WW123 reference. I don't want to say it, and, uh. And he was talking about, you know, they can change definitions of words and all that. But there's there's so many layers of meanings in what he says. Um, and then right after that, at 18, you know, 18 minutes exactly, which is like on the fives. So that's a big deal. Anytime it's on like a, you know, well, even if it's on like 1825 or something, I pay attention. But 18, definitely. And whatever they say, you have to look at it and say, whatever the reality is, it's the opposite of what they've been saying. Okay, that's kind of like what, what you have to look at Juan and Mr. Cottrell, Mr. C, because they're both having to do disinformation. They can't tell everybody out loud, oh, there's going to be a fake W-A-R. They can't do that. So they're leaving you breadcrumbs. That, that's what's happening. Uh, let's see. And he said at 1822, and 22 jumped out because it was um, the date of President Kennedy. He said, okay, there, here's the evidence of what you guys have been doing. Here's the proof. And they don't want you to look at it. They ignore it. And he's kind of like talking about us that we're not looking at the details, that we're not getting it. Um, and no one would believe, well, not no one, but a lot of people wouldn't believe that who is talking. They'll say, oh, it doesn't sound like Junior, JFK, JR. It doesn't sound like him. How can it be him? Oh, my gosh. And how would he have time, even if you do believe JFK R is here? They'd say, how would he have time to do all these little things? he calls in every Friday, you know, live. How would he have time? Because he's not in our time. He's not in our uh, linear time. He can do whatever he wants. Let's see. And he said, well, we're close, he said. And I'm thinking he's talking about WW123. And he's talking about Putin. And uh, let's see. He said, the Ukrainians are showing people, shoving people, sorry, out as human shields, which is against every law in the books. Well, human shields, yeah, I don't think so. That's that's not happening. We already figured out this is all fake. And um, that there's all kinds of things that show, um, you know, bodies that are plastic and things like that. 
you know, they're not, they're not real. So he's double talking. He's double talking. And when he says against every law in the books, he's talking about the Ten Commandments. So he's double talking there too. And then he said again, so we're close. And then he brings up first, oh, I'm sorry, before that he said in the Western world. So he said the WW again. And uh, so we're close. I do believe we also know there's third party verification. So he goes Western world, WW, and then he has third for three, like all together in two sentences. He said Gitmo's very busy. Um, there's, <laughs> there are well-known nationally recognized people, and I'm thinking him, in, in Gitmo under the, doing the military tribunals, and uh, I'm thinking he's there judging them, or some of them at least. And uh, let's see. He said, what we're waiting for is the total implosion. And then it 20 minutes exactly, which I really don't think is going to happen until either we're close to the election or after the election. So some implosion happens close to the election. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we have Juan with the warning a year ago about, you know, Red October. So I'm thinking something's going to happen in October. Definitely. I, you know, even if it's just something, maybe it's not the big thing. Uh, let's see. And then he brought up worldwide again, and that was at a 35, 2035. And then he said, um, at the end of the sentence, you're not going to see this happen. So it was like worldwide, he said something else, and then you're not going to see this happen because it won't be real. Um, and then he brought up, that was the Moscow agreement. And then he said, I think I mentioned this in the last video, I might not. Um, he brought up at 36.15, and you know how I am about on the fives, it's important. The 40 days and 40 nights, he brought that up. And he was talking about some other situation, obviously, but I wonder if it's going to be 40 days and 40 nights of discomfort or thinking that there's uh, missiles flying, you know, and that at the end, I don't know when, but at the end that we capitulate, we, we give up. That's definitely something I've gotten for a while. So be mentally ready in case that happens, that you, it's not real and it's going to be okay. All right. Um, and he said, it's time to get going. Oh, and he said, he told me on the one hand, and Junior, I mean, you can't see Mr. C when he's talking. It's just an audio. But Junior and um, other people have a crooked right index finger, and that's a sign of who they are. Let's see. Oh, here's my decode of, I put it in the wrong spot. I'm sorry. <sighs> on the uh, way back in the beginning, he mentioned great guys, and that's 123, and that equals Lord Jesus. Now, President Trump says this all the time at rallies. I mean, over and over. He'll say he's a great guy, or they're great guys, or something. Great guys is 123. Lord Jesus, 123. April Fools, 123. Like, like this is a He's not who he says he is. Mr. C is not Mr. C, Mr. Cottrell. And then another 123. You're going to love this. Come on, he's God. That matches. Okay. <laughs> um, he mentioned, and wait, like I said, this is from, I should have had this in the beginning. He, he thanked someone that was called Nevada Robert. Okay. And Nevada Robert Okay, Nevada is 47, and that's John, 
and Diane with two N's. Now, granted, that's not spelled the way she spells it, but I'm thinking the two N's is a reference to her and Jackie, the twins. And then Cain Abel is another match. Um, C. Die and Defcon and Beast. Oh, and another couple. Ooh, See Me and then Beaten. I mean, you talk about telling a story. That's what's going on here. It's, it's a whole story in among what he's saying. Just like President Trump, it's the same thing. Okay, Robert just happens to equal Kennedy at 78. And that equals found me, like you found me, phony, like Mr. C, you're not really Mr. C, you're junior. Uh, and I am JFK JR. Okay, so Kennedy at 78 matches I am JFK JR, in case you're keeping track. Um, another, these are all 78. October. Okay, um, Patrick, and that's Joseph Patrick's middle name. Now, granted, there was another Patrick that supposedly died, you know, it, he was three days old. But I think it's this is referring to Joseph Patrick. Okay, Fedora hat is 78, and the hat that President Kennedy wore I don't think he wore it constantly or anything, but he wore a fedora. And it's the same as our Vincent Fusca's, you know, our real JFK JR was the first Vincent Fusca. And then we had the other, the other ones, they all wore fedora hats. So that matches Kennedy at 78. Then we have Jokers. <laughs> Take a bow. <laughs> And then um, October comes up. Okay, this is interesting. October's one, and then 10, 10. You know, T-E-N, T-E-N. Now, there was a radio station that Mr. Handy used to listen to, and it was called, it was in New York City, and it was called 10, 10, you know, the numbers, 10, 10 wins. And, and that's what they're, advertising was it would be like all over the place 10 10 wins so i wonder if something comes up on the 10th and like i said it's our anniversary it's kind of weird huh let's see what else do i have for you this is a different one okay this is a different episode with mr c mr cottrell um and i think this one well, the first one i just went through was it's not listed on original Mark Z. It was when he was kind of booted temporarily. And that one is on um, Troll News Network. So if you want to see that one, that's what that first one is. And the second one is, I think it's just on original Mark Z, which is his normal channel where Mr. C calls in on Friday mornings. Um, it was this uh, July 22nd. That's a big deal. And uh, he came on late. And you know how Juan will kind of be talking to someone and he drops out and then he comes back on? Well, that's always because he's pointing to timestamps. It's not really that he has a bad connection. Um, so let's see. He's at, 12, at 25, 53, he says, and that's a reverse 35 for JFK. I just cut I just cut you off from my computer or you know we got cut off and it then he said it just went blank boom blank like the internet's down and boom for the booms that are going to happen like I was just talking about um then he mentioned rabbit hole at 20 2623 um and then a, a few minutes later he says Jackie and he's doing his thanks for people who did donations on PayPal. And he mentions Jackie. Um, let's see. Oh, and he, he, Nevada Handyman. I don't know if I told you that part. Yeah. 
<laughs> Nevada's John. I think I told you that a few in the first video, um, first section. But uh, Handyman, he mentions in this one, and instead of Nevada John, like in the first part. So he, this is Nevada Handyman. And it's so funny because I'm Mrs. Handy, are you? And my uh, my husband is Mr. Handy, are you? So he brought up Nevada Handyman. So I wonder if that was for Mr. Handy, are you? And then he also had brought up Robert as Nevada, you know, Nevada Robert. So that's my husband's first name. So I, I'm thinking he, that's what he was referring to. Let's see. Yeah, handyman is 80, and that equals rebirth and throne. So that's pretty cool. I'm always talking about, you know, uh, Joseph Patrick Kennedy Jr. was re reborn into our JFKJR. Let's see. Um, what else can I tell you? And at 2645, he says people are listening to what's going on. You know, they, they're decoding everything. It's really cool. And then at 2655 for JFK, JR is 55. Um, he he's mentions, let's see. And Lyman, thank you. Thank you. Um, I know you're busy, Lyman, like lying man, right? And uh, I watched the movie that I mentioned to Juan in that one of those two videos I got to do with him, two, two interviews. And I brought up the movie that that's from. There was a President Lyman, L-Y-M-A-N, in um, this certain movie that's a came out in 64. And it was, I'm sure it's a white hat movie. And it's called seven days in may so if you want an intense you know by the edge of your seat political uh no well, it's not just political it's just you don't know what's going to happen and uh i watched that quite a while ago but it's uh the, so the the president in that movie plot was lyman and i asked juan about that movie in what, like I said, in one of those two videos that I got to do with him, which I'm so grateful for. I, I really am. I'm, I can't even tell you how happy I am I got to do that. And uh, anyway, so he brought up Lyman, and he's brought up Lyman a few times. And, and that's the fake president, right? Think about it. It's, he's talking about a president from a movie. That, that's what that character is in Seven Days in May. He's, he's a president in a movie. I mean, literally. It's, it's just a movie. And uh, that's who Junior is playing Biden. He's playing at least one of them. And so he's a fake president in a movie. Our big movie. So that's why he keeps bringing up Lyman when he thanks people. Um. Let's see. Look, I want to tell you something exciting. He's brought up this. Oh, he said at 2929, he said the Chinese elders are not the ones in control of the situation. He's talking about the global currency reset. That's what they're always talking about. But 29 is Diana. So that was at 2929. So I'm like, okay, Diana's not in control of what's coming up. She is not the beast thing. Um, he said at 30 minutes and 30, no, 30, 30. Anyway, he said disinformation is what it is, right? That's, what's, that's what he's doing. He's giving you disinformation. And uh, disinformation equals 166. Now that's from our favorite Anon, our 17th letter postings, right? That that word was in there. And that's super important, obviously. And it equals at 166, it's um, also one of his other posts that was fly Roths, R-O-T-H-S, fly. 
and it equals blinded by the light. And I'm thinking it's the big boom, you know. And November 1st, now don't hold me to that. I don't know. That just happened to be one of the things that came up. And New York, N-U-K-E-D. Okay, so I think the New York thing is, it's going to look like that. Now, you know that's not real. Um, this information matches that, obviously. So let's see. And there the, a uh, few minutes later, he said, he said, that's all BS. He says that every so often. He's, that's all BS. And that's all BS equals 114. Guess what that equals? World W-A-R. So in other words, that is B, you know, BS. Right? Sorry about the noise. Let's see. Oh, this is a good one. Oh my gosh, this is a fascinating. He's talking about gold and silver. And he's talking about people who think gold is going to go skyrocketing. And... He said, gold is not a protector of wealth. It, wait, gold is not a protector of wealth. He said, um, is a protector of wealth, but it is not an investment. And at 32 minutes, if you buy gold and you think it's going up because the QFS is going to kick in, you're, this is the part that's key. You're living in very tall trees and you're looking forward to a very long fall. Okay. Think about what he just said. He said, you're looking forward to a very long fall. Like autumn. That's what I'm getting. Autumn. Um, here we are in August. So, a very long fall. Oh, I'm sorry. Very tall trees was the first part. And that's 182 happens to equal the storm is here and listen carefully like pay attention to every word in other words it also equals oh, i have to spell everything you guys it's like ridiculous k i l l donald t r u m P. It matches. Like I said in my last video, it's going to probably look like he's gone. And even if he is really gone, he's coming right back. You know, I wouldn't worry about it. And then, uh, very tall trees at 182, besides all that, equals um, <laughs> this. It equals that. False, but not plural. Okay. Because Trump equals, yeah, I might have that wrong. Take that last one back. I don't know. I know these, I know the beginning is right, but that one I'm not sure about. So, very tall trees, 182, the storm is here. Listen carefully. And that one I just spelled about President Trump. Yeah, forget that last one because I'm not sure about that. Oh, I see what it is. This makes sense. I forgot the last word. I, I didn't read the last word when I was looking at it ahead. It's false, you know, woo, woo, thing, operation. Now that makes sense at 182. Because plural, false, you know, blah, things, everything's backwards. Um, it's 88. So I, I was reading it and I thought, oh, we can't be. But when you add the word operation, it, it works at 182. So sorry about that. So and very tall trees is funny because uh, not funny, but I know why he said it. Very tall trees, because Juan said one day that way back, I don't know when, but way back that um, trees were absolutely huge. Like, I don't know. Just way bigger than what we would ever imagine. And uh, something about the atmosphere was different. And 
they can just grow bigger. So that's another reason that very tall trees, that, that he said that. Um, so the very long fall is, you know, autumn, this year, next year, another year. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. And then he says, because um, the people, the question that Mark, I think, gave him was something about, well, or somebody asked, maybe it wasn't Mark, is gold a protector of wealth? Or I don't know exactly. So he's referring to that saying, oh, that, well, that's not going to happen. And, but for him to say, you're living in very tall trees and you're looking forward to a very long fall. And then he said, but it, because it's not going to happen. In other words, he's not, he's double talking, right? About the WW123. Uh, and he said, I think silver is a good one because it's used in manufacturing. And, you know, we all know that, and especially in the future. Um, let's see, and he talked about palladium and platinum as well. And then he talks, he says this quite often. He talks, he says, my con my conversations or my conversation. And that's a word Juan uses a lot. And uh, I don't think I have a lot more with this. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, I already told you that what Mr. Control's uh, name with his middle initial is 159. Michael C. Cottrell, which I think is Christ, really. And it's St. Michael. That's, that's the other part of what we're talking about, St. Michael and Angel Michael. Um, 159 is perfect phone call. Remember way back when President Trump was talking, um, they gave him, they, they tried to impeach him over the uh, phone call and then again over a letter he sent to the president of Ukraine. And uh, he kept saying, it's a perfect phone call, you know, and read the transcript and all that. Oh, and in case I forgot to tell you, I don't remember. Um, read the transcript is also referring to, uh, like, at, at the end of, when you look in the description, you hit the little um, arrow, or whatever you want to call that little V-shaped thing. And you look at the description of a video. I don't think it's a lot of videos, but I even think it happened on mine. You can read a transcript, which is embarrassing because you hear all the, you read all the ums and everything. <laughs> but uh, for original Mark Z, if you hit the little thing on the description and looked at the bottom, you'll see the word transcript. Click on that and you'll see every word that both of them said. Now, it's a bit confusing because they kind of, you don't see who said what, but after a bit you go, oh yeah, that's Mr. Cottrell. You can kind of tell who's saying what. So you can read the transcript and that's what Mr. Uh, President Trump, I should say, was telling us way back. Read the transcript. You'll get all the key phrases, the key words. You can just flip through it and you'll, you'll can decode it and everything and just read the double meaning. Sometimes you don't need to decode it, obviously. So that's what that's what he's talking about. You can do that on um, Magpie Radio with Greg Wagland. He has the transcript at the bottom, which is all on purpose, obviously, because that's who he is. And Simon Stanhope on Bite Sized Audio. You can um, read the transcript on his under description. So if you don't have much time and you you can't listen to the whole video or the audio book, I should say, or whatever. Um, just go to the bottom and start flipping through it and things will jump out at you. It's really cool. I didn't figure that out till not long ago. And that's kind of embarrassing, you know, because I kept like jumping back and trying to move the cursor and oh my gosh, it was, I took forever doing that stuff because I'm always trying to decode the whole thing usually. Um, oh, and then if you add Mr. MR, Michael C. Cottrell, it's 190, and that equals proof I'm God himself. And it also equals the Kennedys are here. 
Isn't that awesome? I, I won't go in anymore. I make my videos too long. Uh, it kind of gets repetitive, you know, and I, I got the point of what I need to tell you. So I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, like I always say, th thank you if you donated. And, and even if you didn't, for sharing, for watching, that all helps so much. And it helps move it up into, you know, when more people comment and share and watch, then the video gets promoted to more people. So thank you for everything. And, and my uh, donate links are always in the description, like the little V thing where you read the description. And I do try to put in things that are interesting in my description. So anyway, I love you guys. And like I always say, take care of each other. And uh, in comments, you know, like, Look out for if somebody's sad or something or having a hard time and talk to each other on Telegram if you want or on Truth Social. That would be great. And I'm on Truth Social now. I'm there. So I'm just Mrs. Handy Are You, you know, like usual. And um, anyway, I love you. Take care. Bye.